I spent one week at a wellness store and it completely changed my life. What's up, my name is Maya, I'm 20 years old and I've recently had the amazing opportunity to spend one week at Savannah Resort and Spa in Carefree, Arizona. So if you don't know, Savannah has an abundance of different wellness classes, so everything from hiking, meditation, breathing classes, dance classes, intelligent workshops, like anything you can think of that has to do with wellness, they probably have it, as well as different spa treatments and also just like an environment that is so welcoming and lovely and the grounds of this resort are beautiful, top notch. I took this trip at the end of December 2021, so just keep that in mind as we go through because of course, due to different COVID regulations and as the world changes and things progress or hopefully de escalate anything can change and I'm sure the rules of the resort kind of change based on that as well so just keep that in mind so on Monday December 13th I hopped on a plane and I flew from New York to Phoenix Arizona all on my own this was my first solo trip stepping off that plane in Phoenix and getting to Savannah Resort there was just like a shift in me like I walked in and I was blown away not just by the beauty of the resort but also by the energy that was in there like there was just this overwhelming amount of like you are here, be present in this moment, take a deep breath and know that it is all gonna be okay. So that was very much the theme for my trip and the main thing that I wanted to focus on, being in the moment, being in the present, and that is also one of my resolutions for 2022. There is a main pool right in the middle of the resort and then all the rooms are kind of surrounding it. There's a labyrinth circle where you can walk down and they recommend that you go barefoot and you set your intentions and meditate. And then there's all these different like grass patches all over where classes are held, but I also saw a lot of people just sitting there on their free time either journaling or meditating or reading or whatever the case may be there's a lot of places that you can actually go and be outside and be with nature and not just be sitting in your room when I was booking this room I just thought it only made sense to do the all-inclusive fee with the all-inclusive fee I got an array of different things that like the regular guests didn't get but in addition to that I didn't have to worry about carrying my wallet around or making sure that I had like tip money or anything like that like everything was just included so some of the things that come with all-inclusive so you get 20% off and then this is like the main Main thing for me that kind of really sold me and you'll find out why in a little bit with the all-inclusive you also get a $200 spa credit per person per night you also get all of your food and drinks covered as well as all of the wellness classes that you want to take but everyone gets all the wellness classes so that's not really like anything you have to worry about so there were three different rooms that I could pick from and I chose to do the spa king room this was definitely a splurge I believe this was the highest like most expensive room that they were offering and now being back now kind of sitting with myself and seeing what the trip was I do want to say and make it very clear I definitely did not need to stay in the most expensive in that spa king room I definitely could have done one of the cheaper options and just stayed in like a standard room and I know I would have had an equally great experience but nonetheless the room was still absolutely beautiful jaw-dropping I don't know how many other adjectives I can come up with to explain to you how great it was and the main event of this bedroom is that bathroom <laughs> It was, oh, it was beautiful. I am a sucker for a good bath. I take baths all the time when I have the option to have a bathtub and seeing that huge spa king tub, oh my gosh. It was amazing. I also do wanna say though, staying in the spa king room put my room in a very convenient location. So I was maybe like 20 steps away from the main area. I wasn't that far from anything. I could literally see the spa from my bedroom and I also had beautiful views of the mountains. It was just, Wonderful, beautiful. I've said all this already, I think you understand. Savannah is completely what you make it. There is no set schedule. Like you have to go to this class at this time, this one at that time. Like there's no one making the schedule for you. You get to pick. And they do have an option to do a full on wellness retreat, which is where everything is customized for you. Your dinner time, your spa treatments, like everything is done to a T, which I'm sure some people enjoy. But for me, I really wanted to have that flexibility. And what I mean by this is if I wanted to take a wellness class every single hour of the day, I was more than welcome to do that. If I wanted to take no class, Classes. I didn't have to do that if I wanted to spend all day at the spa which I ended up doing I was more than welcome to do that if I wanted to leave the resort I could and it was very much go at your own pace do whatever you please and I really enjoyed that I took some amazing classes at Savannah and I'm very excited to share them with you I'm not gonna go too in-depth about what each class entailed and what I learned and all that but if you're curious and you want to know just leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to tell you exactly what the class was like so on Monday December 13th that first day that I arrived I took a blissful sleep meditation class on Tuesday December 14th I did gratitude meditation 
Meditation, Daily Set Intention, and Feng Shui, Love and Relationships. On Wednesday, December 15th, I did a morning meditation, stretch and breathe, and a sunset sound healing. On Thursday, December 16th, I did Desert Bathing, Nature Immersion Experience, Inner Intelligent Workshop, and Sound Alchemy. On Friday, December 17th, I did a Matate Hike, Breathing for Life, Chakra Sound Balancing, and a Static Dance Experience. So of all those classes that I took, there were four standout ones that I really wanna mention. So the day that I arrived on Monday, like I said, I took a sleep meditation, but then Tuesday was my first full day there. And I started this day with the gratitude meditation, and this was amazing. It was absolutely beautiful. I think the best part about this class was how small it was. So all the classes I'd say had like 10 to maybe like 12 people, and that was if they were a full class. But thankfully, and again, I think this really took the experience to the next level, a lot of the classes that I we were in were very very tiny the coaches slash instructors were very much able to cater the class to us and kind of do a meditation that really re would resonate with all of us in that class almost every single woman was connected in a way that I could have never imagined. Like obviously it's not like we all talked about taking this class and then went to it but we all went there and we all like spoke to one another and it was just like Oh my god and it just felt like one of those like the universe wants us here together because we were all connected and all of our energies were like bouncing off each other and it was just it was a magical class i loved it another class that i really enjoyed was the sunset sound healing which i took on wednesday so in this room it was myself and only two other women and i know i keep bringing up women but i want to say men are at this resort too it is not just like a women's only resort so it was a very tiny class and then the instructor so every single noise every single chime, every single clink. It was vibrating off those walls and it was just like a such immersive experience. The instructor went over to each and every single one of us and was doing the instrument right over us. And I was laying there, you know, on a yoga mat and I had a blanket and I had all these other tools to, you know, make myself comfortable. And she was going over us and banging the instruments and making up little noises and it almost created like a cyclone i don't know how to explain it but it almost was like i was in like this tube of just me and the sound i could not hear anything else i could not think of anything it was just the sound those sounds flushed over me it was just unreal like i felt like i was floating and then the last two classes that i really want to highlight were classes that i took on friday so the first one was called breathing for life and truthfully what i owe this amazing experience to is the instructor that i had and i'm gonna put her instagram on the screen i would highly suggest following her her posts are so so inspirational she's very spiritually in tune she's very authentic and genuine and I just absolutely loved her energy and I felt so like connected to her vibe so she taught three of the classes that I took on Friday and after I took this first class breathing for life I had to go to the rest of her classes like I, I just had to so in this class it was only myself and one other woman and that other woman actually happened to be someone who works at Savannah so it wasn't even another resort guest and then Veronica was our instructor and she went through and taught us four different breathing techniques ones that literally cover across the board any type of anxious feelings you could possibly have or if you need more energy or if you're trying to go to sleep or to be more in tune with yourself like just all these different type of breathing techniques that you could almost immediately feel the effects of them but what i really loved about this class was because it was so small and because veronica is such a genuine instructor and not that the others aren't this was just a personal experience i had with her she was able to sit there and we would do one breathing technique and she'd say okay how did that feel but she was very much able to guide me and kind of help me to figure it out and you know she'd say oh you should journal about this oh you should do this more often then oh you should try this oh you should try that and i just really appreciated it and we did this through all four breathing techniques so that breathing for life class i absolutely loved it and it's breathing techniques that i literally do every single day and the last class that I want to highlight is the ecstatic dance experience. This again was taught by Veronica and this is completely out of my comfort zone. When I saw dance classes on the schedule, I was like, <laughs> I'm not doing that. I am so happy I went. It was the last class that I took and it just left this joyful, euphoric taste in my mouth. So it was myself, three other women, and then a couple. And we got to give our music suggestions. And this is where it kind of gets a little funny. And I got to say shout out to my mom for making sure that I know old school songs. Because I was the youngest person there. I did not meet anyone else that was under the age of 30. So all of the songs that they enjoyed were songs that I thankfully knew. Again, shout out to my mom for making sure that I know them. But again, we were in this ballroom. We had super loud speakers playing. And we just danced and not like stand in a line and you know do a choreographed dance no like music on go 
crawl around on the floor, jump up and down, do cartwheels, run around if you want. Not even like a cohesive dance either, like just feel the music vibe and go with it. And it was, I basically felt like I was high. I felt like I was having like an out of body, like I am so happy joyous, euphoric experience. And I think what made it so special is though, even though it wasn't just myself in that room dancing, it almost kind of felt like that because everyone was in there just doing their own thing. It was a very much judgment-free zone. It was very much like, I'm gonna do me, you're gonna do you. Sure, you might be moving your arms like this and I'm doing this, but who cares? We're all having fun. We're all feeding off each other's energy. And you know, there were times when, you know, we'd shimmy into each other and, you know, do little hand motions or whatever. But at the end of the day, it really was just you, yourself, your body, feeling the music, doing what felt right, moving in ways that were maybe a little weird and awkward in ways that you wouldn't actually move at a party. But, but it was so fulfilling and it was such like a breath of fresh air and I absolutely loved it and again at the end of this class we all sat down and we all got to speak about it and speak about our experiences with doing this and it was just a very judgment free zone and I very much appreciated that about Savannah and I never felt in any of the classes that anyone was judging me that anyone was questioning why a 20 year old is at a wellness resort why I was there alone like I never felt like I was ostracized or anything. As I said, I was the youngest one there. It never felt like that. While some of them can be very similar, you're never gonna get the same experience in each class. And that's because the instructors could be different. Or even if you have the same instructor, just having different resort guests with you in each room changes the energy and changes the vibe of what's going on. So I loved that even though, yes, I went to multiple morning meditations and multiple night meditations, none of them were the same. And I also wanna highlight the hikes because these were absolutely beautiful. So the desert bathing experience and then I also did the Matate hike. I had the same instructors for each hike, completely different hikes. We went to the same Arizona mountain range campsite ground thing, completely different hikes. So the hikes were absolutely beautiful. No, they were not strenuous. I know that there's other ones. I believe it was the dragonfly hike. I believe that one was pretty hard. And also if you wanna see any of the classes that Savannah offers, it's all on their website. So you don't have to book to actually see the classes. I booked this trip in September and I was able to know in September what classes they were offering in December. I was so pleasantly surprised by the spa. I ended up spending way more time there than I would have ever anticipated. As I said earlier, with the all-inclusive package, I was able to get a $200 credit per person per night. While I was there, the spa was actually allowing people with spa reservations to stay and use all of the amenities at all times. Being able to use those amenities all day really took it to the next level. So before each treatment, maybe like an hour before, as long as I wasn't in a class, I would go and use some of the amenities. And then after the class, I honestly would stay almost all day and I wouldn't leave until it was time to go to dinner. So some of the amenities that this spa had that were amazing were their private pool. So while the resort had like a main pool, this was like a more separate one and it was definitely a little bit more luxurious than the main one in the middle. There was also this like waiting room area, which I thought it only was solely for a waiting room, but it ended up people would stay up there for hours just admiring the views and the beauty of the actual room itself, which I ended up doing too. There's a beautifully set up inside part of it with all these comfy beds and like, canopy curtains and it was beautiful and then you go out onto the deck and you have the most beautiful view of this large mountain and you have a view of savannah resort and you can see the pool and you can just get like amazing landscape views they also had aqua therapy which i was so interested in so it's basically a circuit of three different pools and there's a body temperature pool there is a very hot pool like hot tub but like times 10 like you're gonna sit there you probably gotta gasp for some air that's how hot it is and then there's like an ice cold freezing one so the idea is to go into the body temperature pool then you hop in the super hot one and then you jump into the freezing one and then you get back into the body temperature one it sounds crazy and it is even a crazier experience your body has this like shock effect to it like it's all tingly and um it was unique and I loved doing it and I did it almost every single day for like hours, just like hopping between the three pools. They also had this like a eucalyptus steam room, which I really enjoyed. And then of course they had a men and women's locker room. And then in all the locker rooms, there were also showers, nice towels, nice washcloths, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. Like every time I went, I was taking a shower in that nice shower. Even though I had a nice one in my room, I just wanted to take advantage of all of the like luxury products. You also got a robe every time you went in as well as little slippers. I've gotten massages before, but these were completely different. These almost felt like intuitive massages. So even though I got things that were like specific services, it still felt like they were catered to me, which I really liked. 
So on Tuesday, I got the Swedish Soothe Massage, which is just a very basic massage. But again, it's an amazing one. On Wednesday, I did Cranial Sacral. On Thursday, I got a facial, and this was the first facial that I've ever gotten. On Friday, I did the service that was called Savannah Calm, which this is basically a magnesium scrub as well as a massage. So all in all, the spa was a great experience. And again, it was definitely a highlight of the trip for me and something that I was not expecting to enjoy as much as I did. Next, moving on to the dining at Savannah. This is probably the one thing that I would have a critique for or actually not even a critique, more just like a recommendation if you're gonna check out Savannah. Savannah has two dining options. So there's Terra's, which is their like main restaurant and then there's Seed Cafe, which is just like a little grab and go spot. I absolutely loved the smoothies at Seed. I thought they were so good and I loved going in early in the morning and being able to have that or get tea or coffee whenever I wanted. Like that was definitely a plus. And then Taraz, that's the restaurant that they have that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So breakfast and lunch, you do not need a reservation for. Every single time I was just able to walk in, sit down, get my meal and leave. But then dinner, you do wanna have a reservation for. I will say because of the time difference, I was eating dinner at like 5 p.m. right when they opened for dinner. So there was really no one there. It was very quiet. Most of the time I was the only one in there, but of course it wasn't awkward or anything like that It was still like a nice calm experience. The food was very good. It was also very healthy So I do have to say if you're a pickier eater Definitely check out the menu beforehand or maybe arrange to have a car or just some sort of service Where you can leave and get different food that you are gonna enjoy because again You don't want to starve yourself and you don't want to not like the food you want to enjoy every aspect of it but I will say it is very healthy food. It's very like light, airy, non-processed foods, which I really like because I don't really eat that healthy and it's hard for me to cook healthy foods for myself. It's definitely possible, I just don't do it. Um, and I liked that Savannah gave me that option to kind of test it out, see what I like, see what I don't like. I ended up trying things that I've never tried before. So the one critique that I wanna give is just Savannah doesn't have many like snack options and I don't mean snack options like Doritos and like you know the unhealthy foods like I'm not I was never expecting them to have those there but I was thinking it would be nice if maybe the seed cafe stayed open or maybe if they had a little stand in the lobby that just had little you know like it could have been healthy chips or veggie straws I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't know healthy stuff, but just like little grab and go items that I could take back to my room to snack on because sometimes the hours were a little weary, especially with the time differences. There were times where I was like super hungry and the restaurant was open, but maybe I wasn't hungry enough for restaurant. I just wanted a little snack, but then Seed didn't really have those snacks. So that would really be the only critique that I had. But again, it's more like a tip. I would just say, come with those things ready for you. So when I say that this was a life-changing experience, I really do mean it. And I'm not just saying that or putting it for the title of this video. Video. like I truly do believe with or without this YouTube video I would be telling people that it was a life-changing experience first of all to go alone to go at 20 for this to be my first solo trip was so enlightening and it was such an experience that I'm very thankful to have because I know not a lot of people my age get to travel alone I also do want to say don't think that you have to go alone to this resort or don't think you have to be with people or don't think you have to be a certain age this resort is so inclusive I saw an array of different people People. There was no one type of person that was at this resort and I think that's why I really enjoyed it I wasn't sure what to expect, but I loved what I did get from it I do also again want to shout out the instructors. It was such a caring feeling that I got from them It truly felt like each and every instructor genuinely wanted you to get something out of each class And it felt like they genuinely cared about you cared about what you were talking about You know when they asked you what intention you wanted for that day they weren't just asking to ask. They weren't just asking because it's their job. They were asking because they wanted to tailor that meditation specifically for you. So I really appreciated how great each instructor was. Another thing I really loved about Savannah is that you can be any level of spiritual that you are. There was never a class that I went to where they were expecting us to already know something or expecting us to be this super spiritual, spiritual person. Like I'm sure there were people there who weren't into any of that. So while I personally felt like it was a spiritual journey for me, it doesn't have to be for you. This could just be a spa vacation for you. This could just be a workout vacation for you where you go to all the workout classes because they also had spin classes, they had Pilates, they had weight training. Like they just have an array of different things which is why I feel like it is such a perfect spot because there's so many different people there for so many different reasons. But that is all I have to say about Savannah Wellness Resort and Spa. Again, I'm so incredibly thankful that I had the opportunity to go to it, to experience it, to experience myself and just 
be there. I will 100% be back at Savannah. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely can't say enough great things about it. And that is where I end this. So I will see you in my next video. I post every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. So I will see you then.